the adventure begins They were always beside you Your nerdy best friends And the DM to guide you And they rise from the flames For the battles ahead Villains beware And instead I spent most of this week um, Making an infomercial for our good friends at D and D Beyond. I, I shot, I shot, I edited, I added music. It's a really cool piece. It talks about all the great features of D and D Beyond, how it streamlines gameplay, and you should all go subscribe to it right now at dndbeyond.com. Anyway, I, I made this infomercial. I'm going to give it to Max I right am now. So nervous. Oh yeah. Right and now. he's going to he's going to pop it up there, and uh, uh, and and play it. I think you guys will like it. Uh, but you know, I'm an auteur, so don't be too critical. Uh, whenever it's loaded up, Max, just take it away. Take it away. Okay, that that's that was not that was not the right video. Sorry about that. That was that was a technical glitch, Max. That was not the right one. Um, you know what? Uh, j just play the next video on the thumb drive. I'm sure it's the next one down in the folder. So go ahead and hit hit play on the next no. the next video. Uh, will probably be the one, the infomercial. Kids, kids, let me in. Let me in the house. Kids, this isn't funny. Kids. Okay, no, no. This, I mean, this is this is this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. You know what, Max? It's it's probably not that folder. Try the other folder, the one labeled "Sam Awesome Stuff." Just try try that folder on the thumb drive, and just play the auditioning for the role of Joel on uh, the mo the video game "Last on Us." Last on Us. <clears throat> Take one. Ellie, do you realize what your life means? Running off like that. Max. No, no, it's Sam Awesome Stuff 2019, not Sam Awesome Stuff 2012. That was the wrong folder. Go to the one marked 2019 and play that one. Come on, Max, get it right. Play it. Come on. Hey, Liam, I'm waiting. When you get home tonight, I'll, uh, I might be asleep, but it's okay. Just, just wake me up, okay? Love you, baby. Bye. I'm sorry. That that was not supposed to be for the public. That was just that was just something that I sexted to Liam. It was not. It was not supposed to be released. Uh, the video that I made was it was it talked about how how affordable D and D Beyond is. How you can get your your content, your your guides, your campaign guides, all in one place. There's oh content for DMs and players. It really makes the whole process great. You know what? I think it, it would be safe just to just play all the rest no, of no, all, all the rest no, of the videos no, on fire. No. Go ahead and play all no. of the rest of the videos. Come on, guys, let me in the house. You know, you know what? You know, now that I'm thinking about it, now that I think it, I, I think. I think that was the other thumb drive that I left at home. Yeah, yeah. And I think this one, Max, I apologize. I think this one's on me. So I apologize. And I apologize to D&D &D Beyond. Please subscribe now. I don't know if I can. still awesome stuff, though. I, I, I can't unsee. Oh, Thank you, that. Sam. Don't let Travis lie to you. He's got a halfer. <laughs> I am doing the forward lean. I thought I felt it under the table. The adventure begins, they were always beside you, your nerdy best friends, and the DM. The number nine is special for other weird reasons. Oh boy. This Sunday, September 9th, or 9-9, nine, nine, is the first game of the regular season for Travis's favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys. They're already ranked top of their conference, as much as it pains me to say. Um, Travis, two years ago, they won nine straight games. <laughs> Last year, they won how many regular season games? Nine. Nine, yes. And this year in training camp, the standout defensive player was none other than Antoine Woods, number 99. <laughs> <laughs> to honor this amazing concurrence of the number nine, I, right. I have done the unthinkable. I am wearing <gasps> what? a Dallas Whoa. Cowboys t-shirt. Oh and guys, I have to say, Inside check. 
It feels pretty good. It feels <laughs> it feels pretty pretty outstanding. I mean, actually, kind of feels. What's wrong, Sam? It feels a little odd. Oh God! What's what is, what? what's happening? <laughs> oh God! It feels really weird. Oh my God! Oh, oh God, guys! Sam, I think so my heart gross. exploded. <laughs> oh God, guys! I think I. <gasps> No! No! Oh my God. No! He died because of, he died because of the shirt. We have to get the shirt off of him. Just don't. We have to get the shirt off. Are you an accomplice in this fucking thing? We have thing. to take it off of him quick. Oh! 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 oh wow! Oh, guys! <laughs> guys, it was the shirt. You know what? I'm and okay now with this. I feel have better. You have blood on my fucking clothes. You have to play like that all night. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely blood on the wormwood. Oh, yeah, Guys! Yeah, that's, no! Uh, every, oh, wow, that's a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New level. Hope it was worth it. <laughs> he told me to do it. It's everywhere. blood! You believed it? Went, you just heard every moment of this. Instead of up, didn't it? <laughs> it did. Oh. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. You calm down the thunder and you paid for it. Oh, oh look, guys. Ew. The point is, Ew. he's alive. The point is, nine o'clock tonight, guys. <laughs> TNT <laughs> Beyond. Oh. Blood. Oh. I love you, Travis. Yeah, love you. Go, Dallas. Good time. That's, That's why you wouldn't hug me before the show. No hugs before the show when you're up to shit. I saw Max holding that tubing. Should have asked. You're gonna be Should've so known. sticky. And ama- it, it, what's it taste champagne. like? What's it taste like? Peppermint? It's just. Mmm. That's not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course. You immediately. No, you know, yeah. I don't think it's mouth blood. No, there's, there's, yeah. there's different types for, oh, for on-camera stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, Sam, you, oh, God. I'm, I'm happy you're healthy yeah. and that you survived this terrible Special assault. Special effects, on you. guys. Well done. I guess Laura, the, were, you, were you recruited to help with she that? She texted me saying, is Travis going to be upset with me? Because he didn't And I was like, no, was it's just he's just going to be upset with me. Mm-hmm. You. I'm actually very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Have the rest of us just can't understand the pressure of coming up with the D&D Beyond bit. <laughs> <laughs> Every we week. finally stepped. <laughs> the adventure begins. They were always beside you, your nerdy best friends, and the DM. Um, it's been a while since uh, uh, Travis and Laura were here, and this is their first show at the new studio, so uh, D&D Beyond wanted me to bring them up to speed, to catch them up uh, with things, with all things uh, uh, CR. So, here's your update, you might want to take notes. <clears throat> Laura, the new Wi-Fi password is Dallas Sucks with an X. <laughs> Travis, we rented out your parking spot to Brian Foster. Oh, good. The Definitely. cardboard box he lives in will be parked there until September 15th. <laughs> uh, the I way- thought he was in the cave. <laughs> the Wayfarer's Guide to Eberron, the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica are both available on D&D oh, Beyond. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. the uh, Travis, while you were gone, we discovered Ford's middle name is Bronco, so that's canon now. Oh, okay. Laura, while you were gone, your dice were all loaned to Will Wheaton for a little while. Oh, no. The break room is open to all, but from 9 to 11 in the morning, Max uses it to poop. <laughs> uh... We have a code system for reser- reserving the makeup room so no one walks in. If you're breastfeeding, hang a sock on the door. Got it. If you're waxing Sam Regal's chest hair, you hang a bandana on the door. <laughs> and if you're having sex, leave the door open because that's kinky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Travis, we have reinforced your chair to accommodate your baby weight. That's <laughs> 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 Uh, too. <laughs> Laura, you are a perfect creature who creates magical life with the power of womanhood. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Talison's new character is a cleric, so you don't have to heal anyone. Fuck yes. Uh, Liam, sha- <laughs> <laughs> Liam shaved. It's Ashley's birthday. Marisha no longer thinks sleeves are bullshit. Now she thinks they're assholes. Uh, 
All fur blogs both know each other. If you go, uh, if you go number one, please use the bathroom marked Pia Stock. If you go number two, use the bathroom marked Hupper Duke. Uh, <laughs> and there are flies motherfucking everywhere in the studio. Oh, <laughs> and that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, D&D Beyond. The adventure begins. They were always beside you. Your nerdy best friends and the DM. But the real announcement tonight is that D&D Beyond has gone beyond, and they've made a thing that I that I made, but then they took it and they made it. But it's even better than I made it. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna play it for you tonight, and you might enjoy it. And I don't think, have you guys seen it yet? We're about no. to. No. Oh, this is, I'm it's so, so good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, uh, roll that tape. Oh my God. Oh. You got the perfect warlock, her weapons and supplies. But you need a place to track your stuff, cause you're so disorganized. You click open the web page. You heard about a critical role. And now you're ready to kick some butt in that mine shaft full of no. They We're did it. The 80s cartoon. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, uh, emotional. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's all so our emotional. characters animated. Uh, the adventure begins. They were always beside you, your nerdy best friends, and the DM. Sorry, quick announcement here, guys. Uh -huh. As you know, my campaign to become the president of D&D Beyond President, wow, <laughs> has been suspended. <laughs> that is powerful stuff. <laughs> you have we got an internal loop going. Yeah. <laughs> I had to suspend my campaign because of a filthy rumor from the O'Brien campaign. Okay. He decided to go low campaign and accuse me <laughs> of colluding with a foreign power, lying about it, and making a deep fake video to, to cover it up, which sounds like me, but was not, I promise. So I am announcing that my campaign has resumed as of today because I am a fighter, I am a believer, and because I have a special secret weapon, I am a great debater. In fact, some would say, I'm a master debater. Actually, I got that nickname in high school. <laughs> when I would walk down the hall, kids would say, there goes Sam the master debater. And they were right. I master debate all the time. I master debate in the shower. I master debate in the back of a lift. I will come to your house and master debate in your closet while you are asleep. My master debating never stops. Which is why I am challenging Liam O'Brien to a debate right here, sometime in July. You guys can all tune in and watch me master debate Liam O'Brien in front of your own eyes. And I will, I will master debate Liam O'Brien as long as it takes until he comes to the realization that I am even more of a furious master debater than him. But I'll need your help. <laughs> so go ahead and tweet your debate questions to at D and D Beyond, and make sure to include the hashtag Master Debater. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sure they'll oh, appreciate that. Yes. Thank you for your support, your faith in my campaign. Remember, rule of cool always beats rules as written. God bless Sam America. Everyone, master debate yourself tonight. <laughs> wow! Wow! Did you ever, uh, did you ever master debate backstage at Les Mis? Uh, yeah, I had a robe. Okay. okay. <laughs> that would cover up myself while I was master debating. I just wanted to be snug. That's all. <laughs> when, when did you start master debating? Uh, you know. <laughs> 
I think I really found I had a knack for it around 12 or 13. Really? Yeah, that's when I really yeah. got into master debating. Yeah. <laughs> Spent a lot of time. Did anyone yeah. teach you how to master debate? Uh, I'm self-taught, but recently I've been master debating with my left hand. <laughs> You know, for emphasis. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the for gestures. Emphasis. Yeah. And I feel like it really yeah. changes the game. You go open hand or close fist? <laughs> what is the longest span of time you've ever master debated? Oh, I can master debate for up to two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> So you wouldn't have what some politicians would call stamina. <laughs> some politicians would call it that. But I gotta go to sleep after I master debate, so you know, I'm pretty relaxed. You would think with all that master debating, you would be a perfect candidate for filibuster, though, right? Yeah. Hey, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Were, were you on a, a master debating team? Uh, yes. in, in college, I did master debate with a group, <laughs> but it was just once, and it didn't go, it, it didn't feel right. right. Mm. I was pretty drunk. Oh, God. <laughs> Master debating is best when it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's true. It really is. Oh, and that's what it'll be in July. Thank you, d d Beyond. God, I love politics. Oh, man. My heart rate is up. Elevated. Yeah. <laughs> Have they fired us yet? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. Matt has been blue screening for the last minute and a half. Uh, Ow. Thank you, DD Beyond. I am Ow. so sorry. The adventure begins. They were always beside you, your nerdy best friends, and the DM. Um, so, we all, we all got our start as voiceover actors, and for this week's D&D &D Beyond ad, I wanted to bring us back to our roots with an old-fashioned radio play. Now, voiceover really became an art form in the 30s and 40s with radio dramas like The Shadow, Mercury Theater, The Green Hornet, and my favorite part of these uh, classic radio dramas was the sound effects. So, tonight, the critical role... No, that's mine! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> The, criti the critical role radio players are going to take you back to the golden age of radio with me, Sam Regal, providing sound oh effects. God. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? We now return to our regularly scheduled broadcast, The Adventures of Detective Clint P. McGinty, Private Dick. Come on in. <laughs> Chief, I came as soon as I heard the dispatch. Somebody got iced? Where's the Vic? Hold on, McGinty. Let me light another cigarette. <laughs> I'm afraid it's murder, McGinty. That's why you're here. You're the best dick I know. Well, if you want to solve this case, you're going to need all the dicking I can give. <laughs> we all will. Walk with me, McGinty. The body's over here. Just past this carpet. <laughs> Should I follow you over this gravel area? Of course. <laughs> Let's stop here on this mound of silverware. <laughs> Go ahead, kick that vacuum cleaner aside. <laughs> and get rid of that pussy. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> One dead body. Good gravy, that's a lot of blood. I better investigate it by touching it and squishing it around. <laughs> In the toilet bowl. Curious. Yes, interesting. Mmm, yes, of course. Well, I... <laughs> I think I know who committed this crime. What? How? There's blood spatter here on this bell. Oh, oh shit! There it is. <laughs> and here on this clock. <laughs> and here on this lightsaber. <laughs> My goodness, you're right. There's a reason they call me the best goddamn dick in LA. <laughs> so, 
Who did it? We're halfway done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the only person I know who can kill this quickly and efficiently is none other than D and D Beyond. D and D Beyond. D and D Beyond. In any violent encounter, D and D Beyond makes you much more efficient, so you can slay your enemies without having to look up rules and. <laughs> Sorry, I had curry before. Continue. <laughs> anyway, D and D Beyond is the perfect resource for anyone who wants to defeat a creature in record time. And <laughs> I also ate corn, cauliflower, and diet coke with Mentos. It, it's fine, Chief. I'll just moonwalk over here. <laughs> As I was saying, the killer must have subscribed to D and D Beyond .com and gotten access to all their great content. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I also ate Red Hots, a hoppy IPA, <laughs> deviled eggs, raw artichokes, and Funyuns and bean dip. Uh, sorry, Chief, I can't take the smell anymore. I'm going to jump out this window. <laughs> and thus concludes another adventure of Detective Clint P. McDinginty, Private Dick. Hey, I did it! <laughs> Oh my god. What the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> I did it! You, yeah, do we, you do did it. Do we clap? Whatever Sam yeah, did, he did it! Silver. Nice. Really good. Oh, wow. uh, that was my dream come true. I'm, I'm so happy that, that we and our sponsors can facilitate your yeah. private dream, Sam. <laughs> the adventure begins. They were always beside you. Your nerdy best friend. And the DM the main thing that people have been wondering and uh, talking about on on the the Facebooks and stuff is the new baby. Travis and Laura aren't here. You guys m might have noticed, and everyone's like, "How was how was the birth? How how did it all go down two Thursdays ago?" And so uh, I have taken a little license, but I have scripted a bit of a radio play that we're all going to participate in <laughs> to t to show our viewers how it all went down two Thursdays ago and how the birth came to be. Uh, Talison will be narrating, I will be playing the role of Travis, Marisha will be playing the role of Laura. Sorry, Laura. Liam will be the doctor. A real job, Dad. Uh, and Matt will be uh, a couple different roles, okay. and uh, including Matt Mercer. Oh, and I can probably do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens. This is a first performance of, of its kind. Oh uh, take it away, Talison. Exactly two weeks ago, at the Willingham house. Babe, can you bring me some onion rings <laughs> and Miller ice with lime? The Cowboys game starts in like six weeks and I want to be ready. <laughs> Darling, something magical is happening. Our boy, the magical light that will illuminate the universe, will join us soon. Huh? What, right now? But the Cowboys! Travis, dear. Your stallion is galloping to Earth. Humanity must welcome him with loving arms. Ugh, I'll get the stupid hospital bag. Later, in the hospital waiting room. <sighs> hey, Matt. Heads up, Laura's having that stupid baby. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'll just throw out the next three weeks of story I'd planned out and totally rework everything to accommodate this. I don't need to sleep, ever. Cool, cool, bro. Hey, can you also tape the Dallas Cowboys game for me? Meanwhile, inside the delivery room. Okay, Mrs. Willingham. It's Bailey. Oh, right, sorry. Uh, anyway, I have uh, <laughs> checked your charts and you should be in a lot of pain right now. I feel nothing but the sweet nectar of Mother Nature coursing through me. My love radiates like luminescent rainbows that will create a new life this day. Really? Well, uh, you should get ready for a long labor. This one could take up to 36 hours. <laughs> <laughs> It is done. <laughs> <laughs> the mortal world has received its divine sheriff. What? That's medically impossible! You didn't even push! Does one need push for the summer to shine down its radiance upon us? Mm -hmm. No. We merely bl bask in its glory. Lo, my baby is perfection. Yes, I am perfection. <laughs> Mother, I bring news from the womb. <laughs> The newly revamped digital character sheet for D&D Beyond has released. What's been added? Improved desktop and tablet views. Better at-a-glance information. Additional ad hoc customization. Custom themes, shareable links, and an updated PDF export. To celebrate, D&D Beyond is giving away a complete legendary bundle to a random viewer. 
To enter to win, go to twitter.com slash dndbeyond, n, not and, and, uh, and symbol, and ready to, and reply to the t pinned tweet with a shareable link for one of your D&D Beyond characters. The giveaway ends this Sunday night at midnight p.m. You are a miracle, baby. I love you. I love you, Mama Willingham. It's Bailey. And scene. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. Oh. That was great. That was theater. That was that, that was strangely that was accurate. To yes. us two minutes ago. Yeah, that was you were fantastic as Laura Bailey. It was like Travis was here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my Travis is pretty good. The adventure begins. They were always beside you, your nerdy best friends, and the DM. To celebrate, I'm going to personally be giving away one copy of this book to either Travis, Liam, or Marisha, <laughs> but they have to compete for it. Here's the rules. I'm gonna give you a race, class, and character description, just like that you can do on D&D Beyond, and all you guys have to do is come up with the name of that character. Me, uh, sorry, Laura, Talison, and Matt will be the judges. Oh, so these, oh, 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 okay. Best so out of three wins, okay. all right? Now so you just have to come up with a name for this character. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> A male stout halfling swamp druid who only wears a diaper made out of kelp and loves to wild shape into manatees. Mm. Liam, what is the name of that character? Twill Pillikins. Okay. <gasps> Marisha, what is the name of that character? Squall Squatlock. And Travis? Merkin Dullbringer. <laughs> uh, judges, who wins? <laughs> oh, Travis. <laughs> easy, wow. easy win. Merkin for Travis. into a, into a swamp druid yeah. is too easy. It was you, Liam, until. Until he brought out wasn't. the Merkin. Remember, these characters can all be made on D&D Beyond. Uh, the next one is a male tabaxi bard with an electric guitar who constantly plays K-pop songs and has a runny nose. What is his name? <laughs> Liam O'Brien. Bathtub Stealth Cat. Marisha um, Ray. Oh yeah, sorry, three names. <laughs> Molly Squawk the J-pop. Yep. <laughs> Hot eye. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Travis? Uh, pubert Pimple Pop. Ooh! Oh. Judges, judges. I got bribed. Oh. <laughs> Follow your heart! Travis <laughs> again! Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm purchasable. All right, one enough. more. We'll give this one, this is worth two points. <laughs> a female Kenku Paladin with no arms or legs. What's a Kenku? Kenku's a bird. It's a flight. Okay, it's oh, I, I know. Bird person, bird person. Shut up. Who worships the lobster headed god Blipdulpulp? Yes! And is a real god, yeah, and is, is dragged around by a pack of reindeer. <laughs> Liam, what is the name of that character? Dagon Henry Kissinger. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Madame Mannequin Badis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Okay. Okay. Phil McCracken. <laughs> Judges. Liam. Liam, oh, Marisha, oh, Liam I gets like two that. points, Travis gets two points, Marisha oh. wins! Yay! <laughs> Gothicals! Gothicals! I will personally buy you one of those books, Marisha. There you go. Hold me to it. D&D &D Beyond, everyone. Make your character today. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. Wow. That was good. That got, that got weird. Yeah. The adventure begins. They were always beside you. Your nerdy best friends. And the DM. It's it's all about accuracy, right? They they can handle the stats for you. They can handle uh, calculating damage, adding bonuses, ability checks, all that stuff. It's super duper accurate. Something that I, Sam Regal, as a candidate for president, am hyper focused on accuracy. Mm. But a couple of weeks ago, <clears throat> my opponents, O'Brien and Johnson, said some slanderous things about me that were not accurate. Oh. And I wanted to set the record straight tonight. Yeah. Ashley Johnson said that I had lily white hands that had never worked a day in their lives. Inaccurate. It's at least, it's at least not the whole picture. The whole picture is <laughs> my entire body is as doughy as Val Kilmer in a funnel cake factory. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she accused me of looking like a donkey wearing a Jeff Goldblum mask. Also inaccurate. My face is much more like a Steve Buscemi Halloween mask that has melted in the back seat of your Kia. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Johnson yeah. said that my smile made you want to drown yourself in hot goat piss. Not <laughs> accurate. It's my voice that makes you want to drown me out with a stereo mix of Limp Biscuit and Michelle Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my God. Wow. The members of the O'Brien Johnson campaign build themselves as honest, nice D and D players. Mm -hmm. But if we're being accurate, <laughs> Liam isn't nice. He's an authoritarian party pooper who whose characters are darker than the last episode of Game of Thrones and sadder than a double feature of Flight 93 and Requiem for a Dream. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. His voice is so shrill, it's like listening to an ASMR video of someone sandblasting a litter of puppies. Oh! oh. 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 Drawn, but go on. <laughs> and Ashley. Her character is, I mean, does she even know? She's missed... <laughs> <laughs> She's missed so many games. It's more games than Michael Vick and Tanya Harding combined. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. But, Whoa. but hey, Whoa. at least she missed them for a good reason. Her hit show Blind Spot is seen by literally hundreds of people every week. <laughs> When, when does it air, by the way? Is it still 3 a.m. Wednesdays between infomercials for eyebrow implants and a towel that absorbs solid waste? <laughs> but I'm not here to roast Ashley. Oh my god. I mean, oh. let's be honest. She is America's sweetheart. How could anyone dislike someone who has a more Oshkosh Bagosh overalls in her closet than Michael Jackson did? Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Liam, on the other hand, is totally fair game. His character, uh, his character choices are so emo, Damien Rice called and said that they were too heavy. His monologues are more emotionally depleting than the discography of Dashboard Confessional. Liam could have single-handedly funded our Kickstarter if he didn't have so many traffic tickets from searching himself on Tumblr while driving. Oh. <laughs> I only killed one kid. <laughs> but, as Danny Carr always adv advises me, I don't need to go low in this election to win. Yeah. No, I'm gonna win the way I won my Emmy. By porking an executive at a trophy company. <laughs> <laughs> and that is accurate. Oh Thank you, God. and God bless San oh. America. Oh, my God. oh, it hurts. Okay. Oh, it hurts. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, the adventure begins. They were always beside you. Your nerdy best friend. And the DM so you guys all know that I'm a master of impersonations and impressions, and I thought, what? Who better to impersonate uh, than the people right here at this table? Uh, so I won't be. I won't be reading these talking points. You type Maybe this, you type this Matt right in front will. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> Pax unplugged. Is this? I can't see. <laughs> I didn't rehearse this. <laughs> Pax Unplugged this weekend. <laughs> Fuck! Pax Unplugged is this weekend and D&D Beyond will be there. So bring your sigils and long flowing hair, cause D&D Beyond will have tables set up outside of the Adventurers League gameplay area. Come and say hi. Oh, but take it away, Travis. <laughs> Oh, wow. uh, uh, I love sports games, <laughs> and guess what? D and D Beyond will be running a role-play roulette one-shot on the PAX main stage, which is kind of like football. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> Marisha says. Oh God. So like. <laughs> Sorry. I don't have a good Marisha. <laughs> So, like, you can get more information about the one shot on <laughs> unplugged.packsite.com or whatever. I'm cool, I guess. <laughs> it's weird being next to all these old guys from like the 80s or whatever. <laughs> oh, I'll let that one fly. Yeah. Liam will take over. Whoa. 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 Hi, Travel! Oh. I can't read I this! this Liam. <laughs> The one-shot game description is, yeah. want to know what happens when a group of D&D luminaries come together to play a completely random characters? So do we. Come join the fun as players create characters at the table during the event using D&D Beyond's randomized feature to improvise their way through classic Dungeons and Dragons adventure. The event will be from 1.30 to 2.30 Eastern Time on Saturday. <laughs> And look, it's Sam Regal. <laughs> hey, look at me! I need constant attention. <laughs> <laughs> also, 
D and D Beyond launched their new show, Heroes of the Veil, vale, this week. <laughs> Join DM Mike Merles with players T.J. Storm, Todd Kendrick, Shelly Mans Noble, and more in this new show set in the Natir Vale. I'm an egomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> Laura has to add on to that. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God. Why? <laughs> Oh, check out Heroes of the Veil. Vale. Why would she be British? I don't know. Check out Heroes of the Veil vale every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific on twitch.tv slash d and Beyond. And, father, and follow at d and Beyond for more info. Just like My dice yeah. addiction is becoming a problem. And finally, well, last but not least, Talison says... So Yay! <laughs> He says, Non bagno te, bagno il tuo cuore. C'è sempre pio tu mio posse e mare. Semper parere di and beyond. <laughs> He's a crazy figure oh, from no. Greek legend. I, I so much weight since that picture. Oh, guys. I hope that some of that was. Oh, wow. The adventure begins. They were always beside you. Your nerdy best friends and the DM to guide you and they rise from the floor.